really rich, not some servant rich. Darling, it's your anniversary, I'm buying you a small island, it's called Singapore, like this rich. <laughs> Every time you buy a sari, he buys you a car of that color. That. Where do you live? South Bombay. Which part of South Bombay? The whole of South Bombay. Like that. Y'all won't listen. Y'all will sit and put your hands up. We want to work. It's a calling. Who's calling whom over here? I became a film producer and actor because I wanted to teach people. Everyone wants to be rich and famous. Everyone wants to find the right husband or wife who loves them. Everyone wants to be happy or not? Yes. Really? And y'all are going to be in this profession where y'all are going to be battered by children for 40 years in the most unhappy next 40 years and y'all are all going to be happy. Hats off to y'all contradicting yourselves every time I talk. Tell her, but you get the point I'm making. So I guess that's good. Ask. But finally, it's your compassion, your good humor will take you through. Always understand one thing which I learned, maybe not the hard way, the easy way. Finally, at the end of it, I will tell you what has helped me and Shamak taught me this and that is the power of prayer. There's no way you can fail if you trust God and you pray to Him every day. This has nothing to do with religion. God doesn't particularly like religion, I'll tell you that. He didn't create it. There's no separate line over there. If you ate beef, that's your line. If you ate pork, that's your line. You didn't eat potatoes and onions and garlic, so that's all. That doesn't work. Just simple, sit down, ask for help, ask for strength, ask for courage, ask for wisdom. Continuously. You're entitled to ease God, Ezra. You'll be surprised at how much strength you need. Don't ask for a Mercedes. <laughs> then he'll say, oh yeah. Ask for strength, courage, wisdom. Ask for help. Ask that you should be given the strength to get what is right and to do what is right. Automatically in life. That is the biggest thing I think I've said today. No more questions. Goodbye. See you. Now we'll have tea. <laughs> Rough book. If you have heard me speaking these last two hours, by now you will understand what kind of a film Rough book is. You will understand what kind of humor the film has. You will understand how important. She said you all went and saw Chalk and Duster. That's a commercial film. Sure, it points out certainly. Rough book is not a film. It's a primer. A lot of parts of Rough Book are actually being taught by teachers after they've seen the film. Rough Book will release on the 24th in Bombay at select Cinepolis cinemas. Andheri, Chembur, I think Cinepolis is next door to you. So I will coordinate with Francis and make sure that not just you all but everyone, including the teachers, is able to go and see Rough Book. And I'm very happy to tell you that after your good school has seen Rough Book, at some point I would be very happy to come back again and meet other students from other classes and other streams and have question answer sessions with them about the film and talk to them generally as well. And uh, mandatorily, thank you very much for jelloing me. Sometimes I'm funny. Some of us are talkers. I can talk till dawn. I can tell you all stories you all have never heard. But remember, pray to God and hope you get a rich husband. That's the final bottom line. Right? <laughs>